Okay, so we're going to carry on with the space animation that we created last week. Uh, so what we should have done is created a backdrop, uh, which was one color, such as a dark blue, a black color, dark gray, uh, which would have been meant to have been space, uh, and then added a few stars using dots around the screen. Um, I've also then created a sun, uh, and the sun, if I head over to the costumes, one thing we need to ensure uh, as you can see, my son is completely in the middle. Uh, if some of you guys have happened to draw yours on the corner like so, if you use the select option, okay, and you can draw a back box around your whole son, you can then move that into the middle. And as you can see, the center of my son, I've got the small little plus. Um, I need to try and get that locked in to that center target which is the middle of the canvas what that does is once my sun is rotating that will rotate from the center axis whereas if it's slightly off it will rotate from the middle there uh, and it will simply just sort of um, spin around across the axis and not be so smooth uh, so that's the first thing we want to ensure a few of you have uh, not got that on the middle uh, but we can look at that Second thing we had was we had our uh, additional sprite, which would have been a floating character in space. Um, now, what we're going to do is if I quickly run that, all right, we can look at exactly what we think of that. We're testing it out. For me, it's a little bit too fast, so we can look at ways I can slow that down. Um, there are a number of ways. So the sun, if I wanted to slow it down, I can change the number of degrees it's re uh, rotating by. By reducing that, it will rot constantly rotate by a smaller number of degrees. So where I've got two degrees at the moment, if I change that to one, we can see that's gone a lot smoother. I'm going to change that to 0 0.1 and even smoother. Okay. If I try even smaller than that, let's try 0 0.01. Okay, that is very slow, very smooth. Okay, but you can see it is rotating slightly. That could be a little bit too slow, but remember that is up to you. Let's try 0 0.02. Okay, um, again, the same if I'm looking at my character. Uh, I may want to change the speed of him. So if I start that again, Remember, whenever I hit my green flag, he returns to his normal size, which is 100%. Uh, and then he will constantly turn one degree, so he's going to be rotating and getting a tiny bit smaller as well. So, again, I do feel that is a little bit fast. Um, two things are fast, the way that he's actually shrinking and uh, the speed of which he is rotating. So if I wanted to change the speed of which his, he's getting smaller, which one of these two am I going to change? It is a change size by. So where I have minus one at the moment, I'm going to reduce that to minus 0 0.1. So that will you know, reduce the speed by 90%. Okay, so that is very slowly getting smaller. In fact, it's difficult to realize or difficult to notice it. Uh, and again, his rotation is a little bit small, uh, a bit too fast. So I'm going to change that as well. Try 0 0.1. Okay, remember boys, it's up to you the speeds that you guys have. Uh, so I will let you guys go ahead and amend the speeds if you wish. Okay, so now with my Nano, Sprite. I also have, bear in mind, four costumes. So I may decide to make him look as if he is going through all these four different costumes. Uh, how am I going to do that? Now I can code this on the same block or I can code it on a separate block. For now, we're going to code it on a separate block and we may decide to merge them later on. So the first thing I need to think about is when do I want this to actually happen? When do I want him to start changing his facial expressions. I want that to start at the beginning of my code. So, or once someone runs a program, so I'm going to head over to events and use my when my green flag is clicked. 
Uh, in fact, I'm going to let him stay in space for about two seconds and then we'll get that to to start changing expressions. Uh, so where would I, how would I get him to wait two seconds? Good, we're gonna head over to control and wait two seconds. Once we've waited two seconds, that's when I want him to start to change his costume. Uh, where am I going to go here to change costumes? Good, I'm changing the way he looks. So I'm simply going to switch costume. I can switch costume to a certain particular costume or I can go to the next costume. I'm going to head over to next costume. And bear in mind, I want this to constantly happen. So I am going to go to control and forever. Okay, so now let's look at how that gets on. Okay, a little bit too fast, a little bit too excited. So how can we slow that down a little bit? That's correct. We are going to add a delay. Uh, so we're going to add another wait one second into that block. So he's going to switch costume, wait one second, and then go on to the next costume. Okay, so let's test that out. So he's waiting two seconds. And now his expressions are changing. Okay, now that is great. Now bear in mind, I've stopped my I've stopped my program. Now when I restart it, he is smiling. Do I want him to smile? No, I want to have this upset face when he starts. So let's think about how I'm going to do that. Give that a go if you know how we can code that. If not, just come back in a second and I'll explain how. So one of the options in the looks was to switch to a particular costume. Okay, at the moment I have Nano D. So the one I wanted was the sad face which was nano D, which is correct. So I'm going to simply code that, drop that into my code right at the beginning. As soon as my green flag is clicked, he's going to go into nano D and then wait two seconds before he starts changing expressions. Okay, so that's the second part of my animation done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a rocket. Now my rocket, I'm going to get it to start from the one corner of the screen and get it to simply glide uh, towards the sun. So the first thing I want to do is I want to choose a sprite. I'm, I'm going to choose a sprite this time. And I mean, we can choose any, but I will head over to a rocket because it is slightly more appropriate. So let's head down to R. So I have rocket ship and that's the one I will use. And as we can see, as I hover over it, it does have a few uh, different costumes which would fit in quite well. Okay, so now first thing we need to think about is what I do. What do I want to happen to this rocket? I want to, as soon as my program is started, I want it to go to one corner. Uh, I want it to point in a certain direction, and then I want it to fly towards the sun and reduce in size as well as rotate as well. Uh, go and give it a go if you want to try and code that, test it out. Otherwise, I can explain that shortly as well. So when did I want it to actually code? That was as soon as the program is started. So I'm pretty sure uh, you guys are used to this now. We have the three main types of events. When the green flag is clicked, referring to when my project is, my program is started. When space key is pressed, when a particular key is pressed, or when this sprite is pressed. Um, I'm going to use the when my green flag is clicked. As soon as my green flag is clicked, I wanted him to go to a certain position. Now, what we need to remember is that this whole project is using coordinates. Now, the coordinate 0, 0 is right in the middle, right in the center. Okay. Anything above that, okay, we're actually increasing in the y-axis. Anything below that, we're decreasing in the y-axis, so we're going into minus. Anything uh, to the left of that point, uh, we're decreasing, going into the minus x-axis, and anything on the right-hand side, we're increasing on the what x-axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply move him to the corner or move the rocket ship into the corner. 
okay and now if I head over to motion I've got this here go to 23 minus 25 uh, over here I can see the coordinates which he's actually in at the moment so I'm going to simply change that and what I want to do is I'm going to push it slightly down a little bit more slightly more to the right okay so what can I change those figures to give it to go and then you can come back okay so if I change that to minus uh, sorry x equal to 70 and my y which is currently minus 238 let's change that to minus 250 let's see exactly where he goes okay he is off the screen okay so I'm going to very quickly think about exactly which direction I want him to point in at the moment he's pointing in um, the direction 90 and I want him to point towards the sun so we need to think about our angles now uh, if I bring him back very quickly so we want to remember these axes okay let's bring him back okay so what I did was I went to back to zero and zero pressed the green flag so he returned back to the uh, to the middle and I simply done control Z twice which undone the changes that I made okay so at the moment he's pointing in the direction 90 uh, and as we know 90 degrees is this way so I want to actually get him to rotate about 45 degrees so I'm going to tell him to also point 45 degrees now this does depend on where you're getting your rocket to start it does depend on where your Sun is um, mine the way that mine has been set up he's going to be going from the bottom right hand corner to the top left so let's get him to point in a certain direction and we're going to get that to rotate to about 45 degrees and let's see how that works so in fact I'm going to remove this for testing purposes is that the direction I want him to go in that looks good I may actually just rotate that a little bit more until we're happy or I might try and get that in the middle let's try 38 degrees okay that looks good for me but bear in mind boys you may want to do a bit of trial and error until you get the the angle you want so as soon as my green flag is clicked he's going to point in a certain direction and he's going to go to uh, go to the bottom right hand corner uh, then what I'm going to do is uh, I want him to glide over to the Sun now we do have a piece of code here which we have here glide to okay so I want him to glide over to where the Sun is uh, or in fact if I take a quick look at my Sun's coordinates minus two four six 186 I may then use that but obviously like we mentioned before uh, decrease that a little bit more increase that a little bit more so it's going more or less off the screen so we had minus 246 and 168 let's say minus 270 and let's keep that as 250 so we've swapped it around now and let's see how that looks okay that looks pretty good so far my rocket is going a little bit too fast so I can actually slow that down as well so where we have one seconds I can simply increase this now because I'm telling it to change the amount of time it's taking to glide to that corner let's do 10 seconds okay and that will be a lot slower again that could be considered a little bit too fast so I may decide to change that to 20 seconds test that out and see how it goes I may wish to reduce that even more in fact I will reduce that to about 30 seconds so if you guys want to head off and code that for me uh, so we've got it to point in the direction go to a certain position and glide uh, up into the other corner and then you can test that out and return okay so we've got our rocket done as well now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my rocket to do two things which was similar to Nano. Number one, I want him to reduce in size 
uh, and I also want him to change costumes. Bear in mind, you guys have done this already, so you should be able to do this. Please try and give it a go. If not, you can come back to the next part of the video and see how I do that. So when do I want it to actually start uh, changing size and, and changing costume? I'm going to head over to costumes again, uh, sorry, events. And when my green flag is clicked, because I want it to happen as soon as my program starts. When my green flag is clicked, I want it to forever, okay, because I want this to happen forever. And this time, uh, where with Nano, we actually coded these separately. We're going to look at how we can code them together. So I want him to forever switch the next backdrop, uh, sorry, switch the next costume. Uh, and we can also change size. If you remember, we did minus 0 0.5. Okay, remember the size, these are things that you can change. You can test it out. Let's see how that looks. Okay, little bit too fast with the speed, little bit too fast with the changing costume. So I'm going to add a delay of one second underneath that. Okay, he's tiny again, or it's tiny again. What am I missing out? Let's see if you can squeeze that in. If not, I'll explain shortly. So we got the costume to, to or we got the rocket to change size by minus, uh, minus 0 0.5. So it was getting smaller. We want it to reset. Okay, so we want it to set size to 100% right at the beginning. So let's see how that looks now. Okay, much better. So you may want to play around with some of the figures here, some of the numbers. Um, if not, that's up to you. Uh, these are a few things we can change. And obviously, we've got other things we can add. If you wish to have another character floating around in space, uh, you can also use the... Um, it's up to you exactly what you want going on. Um, please ensure that you send me a link to your work using uh, the additional video that I've posted, uh, and we can see how we all get on. Well done.